Good afternoon and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson once again. Today we're going to do a revision for the Year 9 and Year 10 exam and we'll look at fraction. Okay, the f these are some of the questions that occur quite often in the Year 9, Year 10 exam and we shall look at each and every one of them. The first question is evaluate 4 and a quarter, take away 1 and 5, 9. The easiest way to do is use the calculator. I have a calculator beside me. So what we did is going to be 4 and 1 quarter. So 4 and a quarter is written as 4 and 1 quarter. Take away 1, 5, 9. Put in your calculator and the answer is 97 over 36. Very simple. 97 over 36. But because the question is a mixed number, we will have to change it to the mixed number. So it's going to be 2. 25 over 36. So how you get 36 times 2 is 72. 72 plus 25 is going to be 97. So that's how you get the first one. That's one mark in the exam. Next one. The next one, find 3 quarter of 500 in mathematics of means multiply. So the trick is that you put 3 quarter multiply by 500. Put in your calculator. So 3 quarter multiply by 500 put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 375 dollars don't forget your dollar sign okay we carry on now okay now the next number is express 34 over 9 as a mixed number fraction so what you do the first thing you do you divide 34 divide by 9 and the answer is 3.7 so 3 is the whole number, so 3 times 9 is 27, 27 to get 34, there's another 7 more, so 7 over 9, and that will be the next mark. Not too bad, right? Okay, now we do the last question in this page. So now there were 63 students in the squash club, if two-thirds of them are boys, how many students are boys? So two-thirds of them are boys, so it will be two-thirds of 63, as I mentioned earlier, of means you multiply, 2 thirds times 63, put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 42. Make sure because they ask you how many boys, you must answer 42 boys. Okay, let's go to page 2 now. Page 2 is uh, getting a harder word problem and we shall look at it now. Okay, so now the question is, Hone spent two fifths of his money on food, one quarter on clothes. So two fifths on food and one quarter on clothes so when you add these two food and clothes so you get two fifth plus one quarter you're going to get 13 over 20 13 over 20 on both food and clothes so he left he are left with 63 dollars left so when he spent 13 over 20 he is 1 minus 13 over 20, so he is left with 7 over 20. So 7 over 20 is equal to $63. So 1 over 20 is equal to 63 divided by 7 is going to be $9 because the whole thing initial amount is 20 over 20. So it's going to be $9 times 20 and the answer is $180 and that is 2 marks in the exam. Good. We shall now proceed to the next word problem. Uh, this is a lot easier. Pam bought 5 kg of flour. She used 1 quarter to bake a cake. How many kg she left? So she used 1 quarter. So she left with 3 quarter of 5 kg. So again, to, the word of means in math you multiply 3 quarter times 5. And the answer is 3.75 3 kilogram. Make sure don't forget the unit for every question you do. We have done two questions now, and we shall look at the two hardest questions, which is the word problem. Okay. So the next question is, okay, have a read first. Paul earned $600 after tax. He spent one third of the money he earned on car, on his accessories for the car. He spent one fifth on the food and one eighth on entertainment. And he banked the rest. So very simple, you add all the three fractions. Okay, so one third plus one fifth plus one eighth. Use the calculator, one third plus one fifth plus one eighth. And that will come up to 79 over 120. So if he banks the rest, 
So the full is 1 minus 79 over 120. So he will bank 21 over 120. So to get the amount he banks, you need to multiply that with 600 because initially he earned 600. Put in a calculator. So 21 out of 120 multiplied by 600. And your answer is going to be $105. No, sorry again. So 21. No, he's not 21 actually. It's 41. Okay. 41, my mistake. So 41 out of 120 times 600. And you're going to get $205. So 1 minus this will be 41, not 21. And that will give you a 2 marks in the exam. Okay. The last one is very common exam. Mommy baked a cake. So the whole cake is one pole. I ate two fifth. I ate, okay. My sister ate two nine of the remainder. So if I ate two fifth, remainder is going to be three fifth. Remainder of the cake will be three fifth. So my sister is going to eat two nine of three fifth. Okay. So two nine of three fifth again, two nine times three fifth is going to be 6 over 45, or simplify them is 2 over 15. So I ate 2 fifth, my sister ate 2 fifteen. So together we have eaten 2 fifth plus 2 fifteen. Put in your calculator. So 2 fifth plus 2 over 15 is going to be 8 over 15. So I both of us ate 8 over 15. So the question is, what fraction of the cake remains? So 1 minus 8 over 15. So we are left with 7 over 15, and that will give you 2 marks. Keep practicing, and before long, you'll be an expert in fraction. Enjoy learning, and keep studying hard.